Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is Abdul Karim Alias a few days ago I uploaded this video teaching using whatsapp or telegram in covid-19 time and uh, this this video to my surprise uh, it's a pleasant surprise really uh, has been very well accepted and I get a lot of positive feedback as well as questions so some people ask uh, send me uh, questions they said can we include a video in the whatsapp or telegram lesson rather than just a picture or the picture of the powerpoint or the slide and also the audio or maybe with some text it's good if we can add a video well the whole idea of uh, using WhatsApp and Telegram is actually to make the lesson as as light as possible and so that the students can get you know access to it even with very poor internet connection well we know very well that video is now a common way to deliver con content but watching a video whether on the school or university's learning platform or even on YouTube like this requires a reasonably good internet connection and then <clears throat> not only that watching a video will drain or use up the students data very very fast and it is something that the students are very particular about although recently the telco has announced the government has announced that the telco will provide some free data for the students for the time being but uh, this is something that we have to keep in mind if we want to deliver our lesson through whatsapp or through telegram now Im imagine if if our students have very poor internet speed at home don't you think they'll be struggling to watch the video so but if you still want to use video as as part of the uh, as part of the lesson uh, content to deliver your lesson through whatsapp or telegram there is a way and there's a way to do it and uh, I've been actually trying to think about what is the possible the best possible way and it's there's a way <laughs> there's a way by making the video size as small as possible and as short as possible so how to do it let me show you how to do it so you create your content in, uh, in the video so before you upload, uh, in this case, you don't want to deliver the content through a YouTube, okay? So if you have uploaded the video to YouTube, what you can do, uh, I'm sure you have a copy of the video on your computer or on your hard drive or on your external drive. Or otherwise, you can download uh, your own video from your YouTube channel. So let's say I have this video. I download this I have a copy of this video on my YouTube channel and I have it here on my hard disk on my computer and as you can see here the size of the video is 63.9 megabyte this is considered big uh, file size if you want to share through whatsapp or through telegram so we want to compress this we want to reduce the size of this file as much as we can probably you know about up to 90% of the original files file size of course by doing that the quality of the video would be reduced but it's okay because in this case the students would watch the video on the whatsapp on their phone so the, the screen is much smaller so it doesn't really you know very critical because uh, they still can uh, watch the video so what we can do here how do we compress the size of this video so I have found this utility a web-based uh, application which you can use it's called Clipchamp Utilities that is the, the link uh, I will give the link also in the description below the video so this is Clipchamp Utilities nothing to download because it's web-based so all you need to do is to sign up first you can sign up using your Google account or using your Gmail so I have signed up so now I want to log in so you can see here so I will log in now to my account using my Gmail so 
so so it's a very simple layout of the page you can convert your video here or you can also make a new fresh recording here okay I won't do this because I have a video so all I need to do now is to drop one or more videos to convert you can edit or compress before you convert the video so now I have a video I just find the video and just drop it in this box very simple then okay make sure you get the right video so you can see the video that you want to convert here and actually before you convert or before you start the conversion or the compression you can have you can actually do some editing here uh, if you know where you want if you want to use the whole video which is in this case about three three minutes plus uh, but if you still want to make it shorter you can you know do the editing here but you should know uh, first determine which from which point that you want to uh, you want to trim but in this case I want to use the video as it is one of the point that you must remember when you want to deliver the content the video through whatsapp or telegram make it as short as possible cut it into short segments so if the video is 10 minutes for example make it into a segment of 2 minutes or 3 minutes I think the maximum is 3 minutes so you can make it into a series of uh, short videos so there is one make it short then we will use this application to compress the size to make it as small as possible and the format suitable for a smartphone or, or for, a, for a mobile phone so here what you, what, uh, there's a some option here you can, it says uh, I want to optimize for what? for web Facebook, YouTube or Vimeo, Windows, mobile, animation so in this case we want to make it uh, make the video available for mobile okay now then there's a customized setting here it's very important the resolution this is where we need to choose the right option if if we if we really want to if you really want to make it as small as possible choose 240p here or 360 but i think 480p would uh, pick pixel here is uh, the resolution is quite reasonable and it will make it still very small so choose that then the format usually will be mp4 and then the quality here you can go for high medium and low well in this case we want to make choose low because we want to ensure you want to make sure the students will be able to watch the video even with very poor very low speed internet connection or low bandwidth okay so choose low then everything else is okay you still do you can still do some uh, simple editing here uh, adjust but you don't want to use this application to do editing make sure you do the editing before but if you really need to do it you can do some simple editing here as you can see you can crop you can rotate and so on okay now um, otherwise you can see uh, everything else uh, okay then you can click start then it will start the conversion okay so almost done okay it's already converted so now what we can do is to click to save it you can save it or you can upload and share to youtube or to any of this site even can download to google drive but uh, i want to save it to my computer so i click save then it's downloaded to my computer so let's check so if you remember the original file size is about 60.9 or about 61 megabyte but this is the compressed one the converted video if i check the size the size is 13.3 megabyte from about 69 or almost 70 megabyte to 13.3 megabyte so this small enough and good enough if you want to share in our uh, whatsapp so you can go to your uh, whatsapp then you can simply 
well maybe I don't have to show this um, but you know what you know how to do it right you can just drag the video into the whatsapp to create the lesson together with your the, your slide which you have converted to an image as I, as I have shown in the previous video um, this the, the video that I've shared previously which is uh, this, this one uh, I will share the link to this particular video if you have missed this one uh, down below the description the link to this one so you can basically create a lesson in whatsapp or telegram and adding video to your slides picture to your audio as well then you can actually create almost a complete small lesson in the telegram or in the whatsapp okay so i think um, i think that's that's all for this video actually there are um, another uh, i mean a few other applications which you can use to convert video and uh, probably i will do a separate video for each of that application uh, one of the more quite famous one is called handbrake handbrake but um, you can explore or you can uh, I, I will make also another video on this one okay so with that uh, thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because uh, you will be notified for any new video or new video tutorial or lessons tricks of the trade that you can learn the skill that you can get to make your online teaching more and more uh, fun and easy thank you